One of the best ways we can manage our resources materials more effectively here in Scotland to help tackle uh, the climate emergency is really not to use as much uh, of the materials and resources in the first place uh, and that is about reducing our consumption. 80% of our carbon footprint here in Scotland is actually made up of the production and use of products and services, uh, over half of which is is actually imported from abroad. So that impact, that environmental impact, is not just about what happens here in Scotland. Uh, we also have an impact uh, globally uh, in terms of climate emissions, uh, biodiversity loss, you know, impacts on nature, more general deforestation, uh, impact on soils and, and water security. So if we're serious about tackling this issue, we do need to take on board uh, that issue as well in terms of our consumption but it, but ultimately we need to consume smarter so not just reduce our consumption but if we are consuming we need to we need to do that in a much smarter way uh, you know ultimately our kind of global approach is a very much what we call a linear economy so we we take from the earth we make things we use things and we throw them away whether that's through landfill or or through energy from waste uh, both of which still uh, have an impact obviously up front in terms of the, the resources that we're using but also ultimately at the end they're still producing CO2 or even methane uh, from landfill which is uh, about 20 times more impactful on climate change than, than, than carbon uh, dioxide. So we really do need to, to think differently about that. So this idea of the circular economy uh, is, is creating a different approach, different, different uh, system uh, in terms of we're looking at those resources, materials uh, kind of going round uh, again and again, so making better use of them, uh, you know, both you know repurposing them for 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 different uses, but also designing the system in a way that things can be used again and again, and then you know for the same purpose. Uh, and not only that is, is that good for the environment; it cuts down you know resource use, as I said. It cut, down the impact at the end of life but actually there's an economic opportunity in terms of jobs uh, so for every one job there is in that disposal economy there's five jobs uh, in the recycling economy but actually if we think about the whole system in terms of resell and repurposing you know reprocessing materials there's another there's another eight jobs uh, so actually doing that here in Scotland uh, is of huge economic uh, significance certainly in terms of jobs and economic activity so uh, whilst we're very good at recycling and putting things in different containers and boxes uh, if we don't make the best use of those materials here in Scotland then we're, yeah we're losing we're losing a real uh, economic and social opportunity uh, in terms of uh, providing those those employment and training uh, yeah, opportunities here in Scotland so there's kind of five ways to make that really happen uh, that we really want to focus on. One is providing that reprocessing opportunity. So how do we create these investments? How do we make sure that we are separating materials out in sufficient amounts and quality uh, that we can start to reprocess, uh, whether that's plastics, whether that's paper, uh, whether that's card, whether that's even uh, some of the commercial wastes like uh, whiskey byproducts. Uh, we've been working with a company who, who even take coffee, spent coffee grounds from cafes uh, all over Scotland and turns that into uh, a substitute for palm oil, which in itself has a huge impact on uh, deforestation uh, in other parts of the world. Uh, there's also another way of looking at the system, so not just thinking about what can we do with the, the, the materials at the end of life, but how can we create uh, the demand uh, for those materials in, in another purpose. Uh, it's an obvious example is we're currently uh, creating f a lot more infrastructure in terms of North Sea wind farms. Uh, they all need uh, a considerable amount of steel in terms of the towers that, that uh, support the blades. Uh, so how can we create a system which is pulling the, the waste steel from the North Sea, which is coming out from the, the redundant oil fields, uh, oil platforms that have been reprocessed, how can we, you know, create a systems approach to repurpose and remanufacture that steel back into, uh, you know, towers for basically uh, wind farms. A third way of 
managing things more effectively is creating a kind of repair and uh, reuse infrastructure that's accessible to us all. Uh, so uh, we're all very frustrated that we can't get things repaired or how can we provide the materials at end of life for somebody else to use. Uh, so, you know, whether that's through charity shops or through uh, online platforms, how do we create more of those opportunities, more accessibility for people uh, to make sure that, uh, you know, there is, you know, things that have perhaps we've grown out of or, or you know, not using anymore. Uh, how can those materials and products be, be used again and again? Uh, a fourth way is just really thinking about the remanufacturing and design opportunities in business. So how do we design parts that can be, you know, refurbished much more easily? How can they be dismantled? How can they be, uh, you know, quickly replaced? Uh, you know, as, as things either, you know, get bigger or upgraded. Uh, another example in the, in the wind turbine industry is a lot of the wind turbine infrastructure that we put up 10, 15 years ago, uh, needs to be upgraded. Uh, so how can we use all of the, not just the, the blades, but the, the mechanisms inside, uh, the turbines? How can we repurpose them and remanufacture them to, to be able to be used again and again? Uh, and the fifth, opportunity we have is just to think differently about how we purchase things so instead of buying things and owning things how do you, you know could we possibly be leasing and renting uh, whether that's uh, IT equipment whether that's uh, clothing and industrial clothing or clothing for us to wear at home you know we're all quite used to going out and hiring kilts for instance or or dresses for uh special occasions, uh, could we do that more effectively for all our clothes, uh, our everyday clothes, our work clothes. Uh, we've been working with a company who is uh, has a lease model for, for light fixtures, so instead of companies buying lights, uh, they will lease uh, an array of light f fixtures which allows them to retain ownership of the, of, of the equipment, uh, so at end of life they can easily repurpose and remanufacture that into other light fittings and particularly using the, the high value uh, materials that are in light fittings and you know in terms of the wiring etc uh, to make sure that stuff isn't isn't thrown away all, all of this is is, is happening uh, it's clearly happening already in Scotland we're working with over 250 different companies in Scotland who are carrying out some of those uh, opportunities I've already described. Uh, they're all doing something differently than what they were doing previously uh, in terms of the business model. Uh, this is w what's needed, uh, is that idea that we, we need to do things differently, but there are still economic opportunities, there are still job opportunities, and clearly there is huge environmental uh, benefits from, from doing this. Uh, and COVID has clearly shown us that we can all do things differently, you know, whether you know, whether we're we're working and living at home uh, has been different. A lot of businesses have had to change their their approach to doing business because of COVID, uh, and you know clearly that's that's the kind of approach that we're all going to need going forward. But as I said, there's you know our consumption uh, needs to change. It needs to change in terms of its scale, but the way that we consume, and clearly that that's an economic opportunity as much as it is an environmental opportunity. Thank you.